Rajesh Saraswat. Thank you so much for taking time out to join us for this interview. We really appreciate you taking time out for us. So, sir, could you provide a brief overview of SAR India Digital and its core uh, areas of expertise? SAR India Digital, uh, we this is a group. There are three entities in this group. Twenty-two years of SAP experience, and uh, we have been now working in for. The- and we are an SAP house. We do ERP, CRM, HCM, so analytics, all the support, AI, IoT. Uh, we are uh, we take IT projects. Uh, we do implementations and AMS supports also. And uh, uh, we've been doing on-prem solutions now, all into cloud solutions. And uh, we are uh, one of the fastest growing company according to INC 500 and uh, we are industry vertical uh, thir- 13 industry vertical uh, uh, specialist for SAP implementation and support. So if I, ha- if I had to ask you what sets SAR India Digital apart from other companies in the same uh, you know industry, what would you have to say? We have experience of 46 countries and that made us uh, learn the practice Practices of this, those those particular uh, countries, those particular companies, and every company, every country has got its specific need. So we have a digital library. Now learning from them, and uh, almost done more than fifty uh, private cloud business for HANA projects, and uh, more than seventeen, eighteen public projects, and more than two hundred and ten overall projects. Uh, our uh, Consultants are well experienced and our core team is experienced in the design. So design part is very important. So that is that is our forte. Uh, we are interface experts and uh, we do the design. Some of our design that holds uh, still um, on for more than 15 years, 20 years for a company. And that is where uh, we bring that expertise on the, on the table. Uh, our functional consultants and technical and lead consultants are also well experienced in various 13 industry verticals and that gives us the upper edge in configurations also so basically the uh, the blueprinting the designing the interfaces and then experienced consultants that brings us apart from uh, many companies 46 countries is a big number sir so if i had to ask you how has sar india digital evolved and grown since its inception and what is the company's vision and long term strategic direction we started with a uh, uh, few verticals and as we progress into various verticals now uh, we are good in retail textile uh, we have uh, footprints in chemicals paper industry uh, manufacturing, both discrete and continuous manufacturing. We are good in professional services. Uh, telecommunication, FMCG is uh, one of the sector we have uh, done a lot of implementation. Um, IMC and uh, almost like now oil, gas and energy also. That is one vertical where we are footprinting. So uh, we definitely, our, our aim is to provide uh, right solutions, become expert more and more uh, deeper uh, I think uh, understanding of uh, requirements and create a better library for these verticals. That is that is one of the goal, help customer and then also expand our geographies and reach economies of scale so that uh, we can bring those expertise to the table. We can be a smart implementer and that too in, within the budgets and we need to be very, very cost effective for the client as well. So growing geographies is uh, one of the aim and uh, definitely helping more and more customers is the second aim and yes uh, winning many awards with sap and winning many hearts of the customers that is our aim yes, sir. so while we're on the topic you know you did mention a little bit about uh, being a platinum partner of sap right could you tell us a little more about your partnership with sap uh, we have uh, um, various divisions. Uh, one division takes care of all the implementation and the support work. One division takes care of uh, the uh, resource management. One division takes care uh, of all the licensing and, and uh, uh, the entire certifications with the SAP. So 
uh, and uh, there are uh, separate uh, vertical heads profit center heads so that makes us uh, well placed and then we are one of the company which uh, became gold partner within a year uh, of uh, starting the operations so sar india digital has that accord so uh, that accord we we continued we are a volume channel partner we we have won many uh, awards in the cloud category uh, we are uh, one of the largest uh, implementer in uh, uh, certain uh, product categories of uh, cloud computing and that makes us uh, a well well known partner in the country and uh, i think indian operations are growing leaps and bounds and we just want to be a part of it so like uh, you know we have been witnessing there has been an increased you know digitization in the industry and there has been a lot of digital adoption as well this has led to you know a lot of consumer expectations also so how have consumer expectations evolved in this day and age and what are some of you know your customers key challenges in meeting those expectations so okay customer expectations that have been changing i i recall uh, 10 years back uh, customer used to was more focused towards towards uh, what would be the time period of implementation how the implementation will go uh, will it be completed in time or not within that budget or not or will it be a successful implementation things have changed now customer has become more educated more uh, demanding and uh, more informative and they do their homework well and then they really come up uh, with answers like uh, will my each and every department uh, will cover uh, the current uh, uh, challenges or pain areas and what are the expectations after the implementation happens so that that is that is bring the customer expectation to the right levels it's not only the time frame and the budget but what uh, they are trying to achieve out of uh, out of this uh, implementation and we have also changed our strategies because that has been a uh, learning we've been asking now customers okay that uh, just to uh, uh, create an kpi based implementation so each and every department now they they choose uh, kpi among from the list we give and they say that what they want to achieve what what is their objective not every kpi is important but what are the three kpi they want to really put uh, results and then map it before an sap it roadmap and what am what would be i so this is um, uh, a, a sea change i i would say from customer expectations 10 years 15 years down the line to today is very very informative and uh, as a partner also we are evolving to that levels we we do speak about kpi based implementation now absolutely like you mentioned the customer expectations have evolved and this is forcing like organizations to undergo a cx transformation so how does sar yes. india digital approach the cx transformation needs of customers we have changed our approach from a, from a web based uh, discovery sessions now uh, we we land at customer premise and uh, most of the customer they appreciate it because uh, it's very difficult to understand and uh, not only the processes but what are what are the key challenges face to face meeting with all the department uh, team all the production camp uh, at the customer place it's a two days three days camp and meeting everyone so this time this uh, amount of time spent in the initial uh, stage of discussion and that we call is a discovery phase at the premise that has helped us in understanding and then uh, you you make a better scope of work you 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 make a better kpi based uh, implementation strategy and that is where help you in making design a better design better implementation and better understanding of the uh, customer because uh, this is this is a, a total environmental change and adoption of a new environment a new uh, it ro- road map is equally important in the success of implementation you very rightly mentioned about the implementation aspect so could you tell us about some of the successful cx transformation projects that you have spearheaded and would it be possible to name a few customers uh well cx has been a very uh, good journey for us uh, because uh cx was uh, launched by sap in 2013 and uh, uh, we were among the first few partners uh, who embraced this and then uh, 2014 was the first uh, implementation of cx uh, 
i would uh, name the customer balaji balasur alloys was a steel manufacturing company in orissa and uh, they they were the among the first uh, customers to uh, go live on uh, the uh cx it was crm early in earlier days but now uh, from uh, from 2014 till 2023 we've gone across various implementations and uh, the learning has been uh, really phenomenal not only our learning but sap has also um, uh, stressed this product uh, they've added more and more functionalities so uh, 2016 when we completed uh, dcm shiram uh, conglomerate they did different verticals there were uh, much learnings uh, with as well consumer goods in 2017 it was uh, another learning uh, fowler rice mill manufacturing uh, the west truck one in 2018 was a different learning to stonex india altogether a different uh, um, uh, requirements and different uh, interfaces uh, so though those from there to medical companies k stream and then to in 2023 altogether the requirement as I, as i said it's like interfaces and uh, um uh, marketing department uh, they 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 talk of uh, geofencing they and they try to understand uh, the crms are uh, going deeper and deeper so this expertise has really uh, grown from 2013 to 2023 and today we are well placed in this industries we are we are proud to say that we uh, can uh, really take up any projects any project and uh, we can uh, Uh, deliver it to the expectation of the customer thank you so much uh, lokesh sir for giving us that insight into sar india digital and you know uh, like you mentioned you do have a really unique way of approaching cx transformation needs of customers and hopefully you know we'll see you grow to more geographies as well it was an absolute pleasure to talk to you thank you thank you